Not so long back, I did this thing's big brother. And now it's the little brother's turn. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this little beauty is the Ruger American Long Range Rimfire. Now, if you go back a few videos, you will see that I did this very rifle, well, not this very rifle, I did the 6.5 Creedmoor version of this rifle, virtually identical. This one is a 2.2 LR one. So I thought I'd just run this one through its paces. This, by the way, is kindly on loan from Viking Arms here in the UK. And I was kind of hoping that the 2.2 LR version was gonna be as good as and as accurate as its big brother, the 6.5 Creedmoor. Yeah, I know it's a totally different round. I was not disappointed. This thing is a laser beam, an absolute laser beam. We'll talk about accuracy in a minute, but let's just tell you a little bit about this one then. So, this is, like I said, the Ruger American Long Range Rimfire. Really, really nice little rifle. If you want to do some long range work or some serious accurate target work and bonus if you own a Ruger 1022 you can use the same magazine so how cool is that okay just just thought I'd put that out there so it's an option bit like the uh, RPR the the um, Ruger precision rimfire yes I did own one of them I yeah, it, I think the gun I had was a bit of a lemon. Um, you do get that every now and again. I couldn't get on with it. I couldn't get that thing accurate. But people that do own them uh, have nothing but pure accuracy from them. But that was just me, that, that one. Um, but moving on to uh, the long range rim fire. This thing is a real, real laser beam. Absolutely identical to that 6.5 Creedmoor, um, same stock, so it's a wooden stock with this uh, textured finish. Yeah, I call it wood chip. <laughs> it's a bit wood chip like. Um, no, it's nice. It's a, it's a nice textured, textured finish. You've got the adjustable cheek piece here, a QD cup there, and sling swivel stud there. Obviously you've got one uh, on the other end. This one has got a um, M lock uh, bipod holder there. This is a demo gun, so um, you know it's who knows what it's been running. The QD cup there, uh, 20 sorry, 30 MOA rail uh, as standard built in onto the rifle. There is your safety catch, so a tank safety catch. I do love that on rifles, I think that is the right place to put a safety catch. Big bolt handle, uh, as you'd expect on a rifle like this. You've got as well, um, I'm not so keen on them, but you've got like that safety blade on the uh, on the trigger. I'm never so really that keen on um, on those myself, but you know, it is what it is. There is your bolt. I had no problems with this rifle whatsoever. No problems with feeding, with extraction, uh, nothing. It, it just ran really well. Let's drop the mag out and just show you, show you in there. No problems with it whatsoever. Cold hammer forged barrel, as you'd expect. It goes without saying, doesn't it really? Um, yeah, well, it does these days. Just a real nice um, little rifle. Like I said, if if I owned the 6.5 Creedmoor version, um, which I was really impressed with, uh, I'd be so tempted to get this. What an excellent platform it'd be. It's exactly the same feel as a 6.5, so you could just use this for training and just use, um, you know, use your 6.5 for for doing the long range stuff. That's a dummy cartridge, by the way. I'm just gonna pop it underneath that to hold it up because 
when they're in these stocks, they kind of want to roll over. Right, accuracy. This is where the interesting stuff starts. And my God, um, the difference in ammunition. My God, insane. Right, so I'll show you the first target. This, first of all, this is using S and K. So S and K standard plus, that is, uh, what is it? What grain is it? I forget what grain it is. Has it got it on the box? Uh, standard plus, where's the grain? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Use that anyway. <laughs> now this one was the zero, so ignore this one. So that was probably my, I think that was my first shot and then I got, I got it over here and more or less on the money. These are three shot groups, by the way. Okay, so that was a bit rubbish. And then all of a sudden I get it together and start concentrating on what I'm doing. 100 yards. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's sub MOA. Okay, nice. Then I used some cheapo blazer ammo, which I've not got a box for. Oh my God, the difference. And this is five shot groups now. Opened up just a bit. Bit of a string there. Mm, no, God, that one's half decent. Bit of a flyer there, I guess. Not as good with the blazer. Then I moved on to one of my favorites, Ely Contact. Now I used this um, in my uh, 1522 Smith & Wesson for doing like speed steel comps. So it's good semi-auto round. But I used this in the Ruger and check this out, five shot groups, 100 yards. Oh yeah, baby. Check them out. Yeah, that was me. That was a bad flyer. But check that out. Oh my God, 100 yards. It likes the Ely contact. Didn't really throw any sort of real expensive match ammo through this. I dare say it would have been even better, but that is accurate. Happy with that. Don't know about you, but I am. There'll be guys in the comments who are like, oh, you should clover leaf at that. Well, it's me shooting, isn't it, at the end of the day? So that is probably the best excuse I've got. It was me shooting, okay? Uh, I was running a Hawk, uh, what was it? A Hawk Frontier, I think, the scope on this. Testing a lot of Hawk scopes at the minute. In fact, it was the same scope or was it a sidewinder? It might, might have been a sidewinder actually, I can't remember. It was the exactly the same scope and mount that I was using on the 6.5 Creedmoor version. I literally just took it off that, put it straight on this and same sort of accuracy. So really, really, really cool. It was just, I just wanted to sort of um, show the versatility of that scope. We could jump in from a, a 6.5 Creedmoor straight onto a 2.2 LR. Um, really, really, really quite good. But no, what a nice little rifle, guys. I know Ruger, sometimes it's, um, Ruger's quality can be sometimes a little iffy. Yeah, I've seen it on guns. Um, I've witnessed it on guns as well. But um, I don't know, it's, this thing shot well. It shot really, really well. Um, and what more could you want? Nice looking rifle, you know, functional, nice wide um, forend as well. Ambidextrous, obviously apart from the bolt, but uh, if you're like me, if you're a lefty, you're probably that used to using left hand, uh, right hand bolts. It's untrue anyway, so, <laughs> you know, um, it is what it is. You just get used to it, don't you? But what a nice little rifle. The Ruger, um, Magazine release is, well, I think it is actually a Ruger 1022 magazine. Obviously, the magazines are the same. So the magazine release is the same. So if you've got a Ruger 1022, 
um, you'll be used to you'll be used to that I guess what am I doing am I putting this mag in wrong yeah I'm putting it in the wrong way around as you'd expect um but no what a nice little rifle very accurate and that is what counts it doesn't matter how good they look if they don't perform then well it's just not good is it you guys know what I mean it it shot well it looks good it's functional it's not high-end would I choose this over a CZ for example um, probably I'd go for a CZ if it was me I'm just a CZ fan anyway but the Rugers aren't bad the Rugers aren't bad at all and this thing is damn accurate and that is what counts Anyway, guys, I am going to leave it at that. That is your rack and load review of the Ruger American Long Range Rimfire. A very accurate, versatile rifle. Uh, probably light enough for hunting. I'd probably not use it for hunting. I don't know, it's more of a target gun. I'll throw in... Um, weights and specs and all that in the details of the video because I've not got them to hand. I'm ill prepared for this video. No, not really. Um, I just haven't got that info at the minute. I couldn't find it. Um, so I'll put that in the details of the video. So, But yeah, nice little rifle guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. That is Rack and Load. See ya.